So we have a report out of ComingSoon.net saying the Daisy Ridley Star Wars movie has lost the creator of Peaky Blinders as writer. Now, what does this mean for this Daisy Ridley project? Which several individuals and media outlets are calling it Star Wars New Jedi Order. Well, let's see what this article has to say, shall we? Stephen Knight, arguably, arguably most known as creator of BBC's Peaky Blinders, is no longer attached to the upcoming Star Wars movie featuring Daisy Ridley's Rey from the sequel trilogy. Now, this comes after March 2023 when it was reported that Knight was brought onto the project following the departure of screenwriters Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson. Now, according to the article here, they're saying that his exit, that being Stephen Knight's, as screenwriter could potentially delay Disney release Star Wars movie, which doesn't yet have an official title. And again, they reference the, the, the title that many have given it, Star Wars New Jedi Order. In September of 2024, that's just a month ago, Rumors were claiming that the movie had been put on hold at Lucasfilm and production would not begin until 2025. Uh, this seems to be a familiar trend when it comes to uh, properties of Disney, be it Lucasfilm or Marvel. We have screenwriters leave. We have directors leave projects. Projects get delayed and delayed and delayed. And then eventually those projects just don't show up in the release schedule anywhere. See Blade, for example. Notably though, Charmite Obey Chinoy of Miss Marvel fame remains attached to the project as director. My question to that is, how long is she gonna hang on <laughs> being attached to the project as the director? I mean, this, this was announced, what, um, 2022, I think, was when this was announced? Correct me if I'm wrong, down in the comments. But I think I'm right on this one. The upcoming movie is meant to take the story forward from the sequel trilogy in which Rey was originally introduced. Initially as a scavenger on the desert planet Jakku. Ray is revealed to be the granddaughter of Darth Sidious or Emperor Palpatine. At the end of the trilogy, Ray rejects her Sith ancestry and, and embraces the identity of Ray Skywalker. Now, the premise of the upcoming movie or project will revolve around Ray as she establishes a new Jedi Order 15 years after everything that happened in The Rise of Skywalker. According to claims made in April of 2023, Rey might not be the main character of the movie and might act like the Luke Skywalker or the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the situation. <sighs> hmm. Well, I, I think it would, it, my opinion, I think it would be smart to not make her the centerpiece of the new movie. <laughs> Because she is a very divisive character amongst the Star Wars fandom, in my opinion. You can share yours in the comment section down below. But just a couple of the comments here on this article, which there isn't many. But a couple of the comments here that uh, <laughs> kind of give you a little bit of the feeling of some Star Wars fans out there, myself included. This movie's never going to be made, and that's a good thing. Which I did get a reply. I, I really think you're right. I thought the announcement for this was strange, given that nobody liked the sequel trilogy. They really messed up so much that could have been explored with Mandalorian or Ahsoka. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the sequel trilogy and this... Next comment kind of touches on that, and, and I, I noticed it right away when I saw it, way back when. 
God, what was it? 20, the 2019? It might have been even earlier than that. But my first inclination, and this again touches on it, was The Force Awakens is just a new hope made worse. Yeah, that's what they did. They, take, they took a new hope and, and rewrote it, changed it, and tweaked the formula. And that became a Force, The Force Awakens. And then this person goes on to say, a committee of people made that trilogy panicking on how to target as many demographics as possible to maximize the profitability. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They made it for the sake of diversity instead of telling a story. So there you have it. Just a quick video here on um, some news we get about the upcoming Ray movie, if it ever gets released. So what do you guys think? Do you think this movie's ever going to see the light of day? Or do you think it's just going to be um, one of those movies that's just going to be delayed, 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 and they're going to continue to make little announcements and announcements and announcements? I mean, remember, I think they promised Rian Johnson a trilogy of his own. How'd that work out for him? In fact, how's that work out for any projects that Kathleen Kennedy announces for Lucasfilm? So tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time, if you would, to help out the channel. It's free. You can give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Especially if you're new here and you like what I'm doing. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, hopefully everybody has a great Friday. And I will see you guys later.